Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 18 of Grim Dawn on the Xbox Series X. We are ready to teleport straight back to where we were at the end of part 17. However, I just discovered this uh, little thing here. This, uh, let me get to the right place. Is it this one? Yeah, so as we level up here, we were on this tab here, and I, I kept going into this thinking, what is it I'm meant to do in here? <laughs> I've got two things to pick from. But as we keep leveling this up, when our, our respect keeps going up, I can now get all of these. So we are kind of gone from, I don't know, Corporal or whatever it was to Lance Corporal or however it's going up anyway. But these, these are all now available to us as well. Uh, and some of them are pretty decent blueprints. We might have some of them to be fair, but uh, I noticed there is a, a rare component in here called Silver Core Bolts, and there's some armor. It's fairly decent stuff to be fair. I mean, the armor's a lot a lot better than what we're wearing from protection point of view. But we're wearing the Gunslinger jacket, which has got a few perks on it that I quite like. We've got a Gunslinger perk on it, in fact. But we are now starting to tread in waters that are fairly dodgy because well it's a level 35 jacket anyway so we couldn't wear it at the moment but we are going to start running into a lot of trouble with our armor if we don't start thinking about putting some of this green stuff on that we keep <laughs> we keep picking up which is why i've hung on to this gun because this gun although it's green actually has more damage on it than one of the well the two third party company revolvers so it would make some kind of sense in at least one of those guns to put on or one of those hands to put on the Thunderstruck steel hand cannon of an alacrity, but so I've hung on to it for now. But I just thought it was worth showing off. So as as our respect level goes up here, we're going to get into other tabs of things, and we can actually see some of the things we're we're going to get by the looks of it. Whether this changes through time, I've got no idea. Ooh, we can augment our gear, so we can start colouring our gear in. No, we could do that. I haven't seen anyone that sells that sort of stuff. So you can start dyeing all your armor. I did wonder, actually, if you could start, you know, dyeing your stuff and making it look... Uh, well, it might be a bit more intricate than just dyeing it, of course. Oh, well, actually, it's putting perks on it as well. It's an augment. It's a rare augmentation. They do have colors on them. Whether it actually changes the color of your gear, I don't know. It should do, I think. Applied to rings and amulets. Oh, maybe, maybe not. That's rings and amulets. Right, so you can augment armor and put whatever perks you want on. Awesome. So it's not to do with colouring it, actually. It's to do with putting perks on it. Uh, there is one gun in there. 56 to 68, which is a lot more damage than what we've got on at the minute. It's a level 70, though. So, you know, got a long way to go before we can wear those. But anyway, I thought it was just worth showing you the Quartermaster's stuff. So, I'm not going to buy anything from it at the moment. And also, I've not visited the blacksmith for a while. Got any more scrap metal? Just to check out what we've been picking up in the way of... Not, I've not noticed any blue guns that he can make for us. However... Yeah, we could make nine of those rifles. 55 to 71 damage. That's a lot... Oh, that's... Yeah, it's a lot more than the pistols, Steve. Of course it is. It doesn't actually compare here, does it? Well, that's 75 to 100. So, yeah. So, it's not it's not quite as good, the ones that we can make in here at the minute. For what we've picked up. The Omen. It's a dagger. Tremor. So we've not picked up a great deal in the way of blues for our weapons. We already know about the Guardsman's Breastplate and the Explorer's Tunic. But it's well worth keeping an eye on all of this stuff, to be fair. Relic some runes as well. Picked up a few of those. Cool. So we will come back and uh, have a deeper look at some of this stuff, I think. But at the moment... I'm starting to become very aware of... And here's another thing as well. How much does this woman cost? 
to... Uh, is it her? Yeah, she respects, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. I don't know what happened. All oh, right, okay. So total iron bits is 133,976. Iron bits cost is 25. Uh, I suspect each time I press on something, a point comes off. So we could, in theory, take off the one that I'm not getting overly excited about, which is the light... No, that, not that one. The lightning one. It's that one. Um, yeah in theory we could take all of the points off of that which is 15 16 points in total from all of those and start a new class selection uh, however I still haven't decided what that would be so I need to spend some time off camera and just have a think about what I might want to do with the points once I've spent them. I'm going to guess that this 25 gets more and more expensive every time you change something, which is pretty sure that was the case in uh, Titan Quest, if I remember rightly. Anyway, it's well worth thinking about. I, I, I need to have a proper good look through the other classes, though. And I might... I'm going to record maybe three or four sessions tonight, and then after that, I think I might have a think about that. Bow show. Start mixing it up a little bit with another another class. Or another... Uh, yeah, another class. Right, we need to go back to... Let's get back into the action, people. And here we are. Stood standing exactly where we were at the end of the last part, people. I told you. Hey, you have little faith. You have little faith. Oh, hello. Whew, that was a bit of a shitstorm to walk into, weren't it? What does that say? <laughs> Put it. Potulis? Potulis? Can't even see what that says, people. Port. I think it's Portielis. Portielis or something. Portiulis. Why do I feel like there's a boss fight in here? Well, we've put a portal outside the door, so. One can only hope we can come straight back. Oh, hello, there's a shrine in here. Oh, fucking hell, who's this? Fucking hell, where did all my health go there? Ha! Any boss killed, apparently. We got him. A serenity stone volley gun of arcane blaze we'll have a look at that serenity stone I thought we had a serenity stone already but anyway 264 health 5% health 18% bleeding resistance plus 2 to arcane empowerment I keep forgetting about my health move people that's it there isn't it it's got a fairly decent cooldown on it as well 
a ruined shrine, people. We're going to get a devotion point. I wish I knew who I just defeated. <laughs> Was this uh, Salazar? Because we did have a quest to beat... Oh, no, Slay Salazar. Salazar's still there. So I, I don't know who I just beat here. I'm not even sure if it tells me in here either. Ah, there's all our faction Shinizla's people. Yeah, Devil's Crossing respected. There you go, look. Cronley's gang, obviously. Uh, I wonder if you can make that good. I wonder if you can make yourself a bit nasty and make that good then. Ethereal's Dispel. Alright, if you click on it. Ah, ah, right, okay. So we can see when we're going to hit the next one. So we're on Respected and we're going to go to Honoured next. That's what we're on our way to. Respected in the Rovers as well. So there might be a few things we can pick up in there. Anyway, we digress, people. Hey. Well, that's... Uh Oh, never mind. Right. Let's do our rune shrine. And, oh, hang on. Oh, no. Have I not got any with me? No, oh, I have. Faction, uh, sorry, a uh, devotion point. Well, the last devotion point we spent, we so we've got two complete ones now. We've got this one, which is doing our health regen. We've got this one that's doing all our frost and frost burn and ice and cold and lightning damage. We started this one, which, in retrospect, I'm not sure I should have done, but we did it to get the plus 15 physique. The next point up is plus 24% internal trauma damage with plus 20% increased duration, plus 3% movement speed forever. Plus 15 physique, plus, 5, plus 30 armor. And strike nearby foe. That, that, that'll be the big perk at the end. Strike nearby foes in a rush of physical force like a charging bull. See, that doesn't really suit our character though, does it? But anyway. Bull rush, 25% chance on attack. So I'm not overly sure I want that. <laughs> not sure what that's going to do to a, a, a gun slinger. Um, what are these ones over here? Christ almighty, it goes all the way over there. Jesus. Not to mention the up and the down and the lefts as well. Defensive abilities. What's the dog? Oh, that's pets, isn't it? Yeah. Physique and armor. It's the scarab. Shield damage blocked. Oh, don't use shields, though, do we? Yeah, I feel... I have this little feeling that I might have gone the way of a melee person up there. Or maybe it doesn't work that way. Yeah, flame torrents. Some magic stuff's going on to the left. Jackal. Plus 15% to all damage, 2% physical resistance. That's bloody pets. Fucking bonus to pets that I don't use everywhere. Lightning damage and ether damage. Well, plus 15% to both. That's plus 15 spirit. Lightning, ether, and yeah, that's all plus percentages. Right, I'm not sure what to do here. We could go in another direction. 
I mean, we could do the bull. I mean, maybe I'm being a bit too cautious about it all. That's plus 15 physique and plus 8 defense ability straight off the bat. Reduce freeze duration, reduce slow resistance. Oh, wait a minute. 18% reduced freeze duration and 18% slow resistance, yeah. It's plus 15 physique and plus 8% movement speed. Might be worthwhile. That was 3% movement speed, wasn't it, over there? Yeah. We've got the first one of this, actually, already. And the bonus is... 15% cold resistance, 15% lightning resistance. Might not be a bad one to go for, actually. It's a good set of resistances on it. Oh, I didn't have the first one as it happens. So we've just got plus 15 physique and plus 8 defense ability. Take that. Good, good. I think that's all there is to do in here. Ha! Really? Oh, hello. There's a path. There is a path! To the other side. Well, it's... Oh, really? Was there two entrances to that place then? And I've just missed one. Ah, no, it's a secret way out. Can't go back in that way. Cool, blimey. Uh, oh, there's that bit we missed. Remember I was saying we missed a bit of... an area. No, you can't go that way, Stephen. Whoa, he's a big fella. Oh, what is the... I was going to say, what the hell was that? There was a big red skull on me there for a minute. I thought I was going to die. Okie dokie. Why do I keep using this instead of the quick map, people? Tell me. Someone tell me. Yeah, there's a bit over there that didn't quite get done, isn't there? Looks like it's a bit of a bloody path back now, unfortunately. Oh, for God's sake. Give me a doorway. Gold's sake. Nothing's too far away with the quick boots on, people. Come on now. Heading towards another 8% speed as well. Actually, let's go this way. Some there they come.
I'll do it. It is worth going back. Enemies to slay. Right, well, I have a feeling that actually teleporting out of this place is probably the best thing to do now. No point running all the way back out, is there? So, if we go back to Twin Falls, I feel. Now, we've got a few quests here to get sorted out. Yeah, bring the an annals back to, uh, annals to Amkala at the rover camp in Old Arcovia. Yeah, I'm going to have to remember where the hell these things are now. Well, we do need to go there, actually, I think. Because we need... Uh, yeah, we do. We need to go there. You can't put a marker down, can you? Where the bloody hell's the... <laughs> It could be a bit easier to navigate this thing. We are in Old Dark Avia, are we not? Oh no, we're in Tw Twin Falls, aren't we? Of course we are. I think I've gone to the wrong place. Can we teleport? Did we find a teleport in Old Dark Avia? We must have done. No, Old Dark Avia. Oh yeah, there it is. That'll be why then. Two stars. Amkala. Did you know that Arcovia is the ancient? Hang on. I found some text you might find interesting. Woohoo! 3000 XP. That is an outstanding discovery. I thank you in the name of all Ruari for bringing these texts to us. I will make certain that all rovers who visit here learn of their contents. Marvellous. Okay. Apparently we have to speak to Quaid, but it uh, doesn't say his name on the right hand side. How goes the hunt? Moneybag Martins is dead. Another 3,000 XP, thank you. You are ruthlessly effective. I hope you. I hope he screams for help. He's wailing unanswered in those old mine tunnels. Thank you, you've put my mind at ease. You're welcome. I've heard that Darius is dead. I'm glad we're on the same side in this conflict. Haha, <laughs> yeah. It's because I'm badass. I'll sleep easier knowing that psychopath is eating dirt. I may not be good uh, a good man, but I have limits and the things that Cronley did. It's enough to turn my stomach. That it was, my friend, that it was. Thank you, you've done us all a great service. I'm glad I could help. Oh, hello. Take a look at the bounty, shall we? The rover way requires us that we abandon worldly desires and abstain from violence. We have now broken that oath in order to defend ourselves from Cronley's men. So that not all our ways are lost, we seek to craft an old relic known as Equilibrium, so that we can restore some balance to our lives. We will gladly exchange some of our rare scavenged materials in exchange for this valuable object. Accept the bounty. Craft an equilibrium relic. Deliver it. Hey. 
Well, the only place I know that I can craft anything, that's a salvage dealer. That's the keeper of artifacts. Is at uh, the prison, I think, the blacksmith. Actually, be worth having a look at the guns now. 13 to... Jesus Christ, 13 to 74. The ones I'm using are only up to 41. But then it says minus 55 damage per second, so the perks I've got on my guns are bringing it in line. Yeah, that was good. Not as good. Oh, here we go. This is the other camp's faction list. Mm, Morgan Madron, that seems different than the other one. Rare component, plus 15 health regeneration per second. Can be used on boots, no less. Oh, actually, we haven't got anything on our boots. Oh, we have. We've got a component. Plus 18 health regenerated per second. Hmm, that's better, isn't it? The one I've got. Oh, 10% movement speed on those. 8% move, yeah, so a little bit better, I suppose, in the speed department. Right, anyway, we digress. I could just sell all this stuff, though. Dirty armor on that belt. Force wave. Hang on to that for a bit until we get a proper chance to look at it. It's the word of pain perk that I don't want to lose. That's why I keep hanging on to the belt. Okie dokie. I mean, 231 armour on those kecks. As opposed to my 155. Although I've got an extra 35 armour on them. So it's 180, 190. So we're not that far behind I don't suppose. But They're blues as well. 308 armor. We need a physique of 307 though. So we're a bit behind what we need for those. I think I forgot to take those out actually last time. I don't think they're new pickups. We're going to dump it all anyway, but... Really? Well, we've got two guns now. Are they both as bad as each other? Or good as each other? There's only one of them that's actually better, so we can get rid of that one. Right, what else have we got quest-wise we can get rid of? We need to go and speak to Barnabas in Devil's Crossing. We need to slay Salazar. Salazar. I need to remember where Salazar is. Uh, hmm. Bounty, Blade of Cathon. Yeah, it's that one.
The cult of Cthon has many leaders, but we have finally discovered the identity of the one in charge of the activities around Devil's Crossing. He goes by the name Salazar, Blade of Cthon, and he is rumoured to be hiding out somewhere near the Burwich outskirts. All right, okay, we need to go back to Burwich for that one. Um, anyone that tracks down the and eliminates Salazar will justly be rewarded with some rare scavenged blah. Okay, so these, these are bounties that we picked up from the table, aren't they? Equilibrium one. Craft an equilibrium. Right, okay, I think we must be able to just craft it if we've got the components. So, let's head to... Devil's Crossing. See what's what with the blacksmith. reluctant to go spending time in Burwich outskirts and stuff because the amount of XP we'll get fighting stuff in there is going to be minimal isn't it? Got to be more scrap metal. Well there's Equilibrium. Uh, ah. Tainted brain matter is what we're missing. I thought we had some of that. God damn it. Looks like, because I think we had some when we gave it to the scientist guy. Don't recall how to. Oh, can we make tainted brain matter? I don't think we can, can we? It must be a particular area you can get tainted brain matter from. Not got any here. Unless somebody sells some, of course. Scrap and stuff, but huh. he seems to be the same stuff. Okay. Right. Anyway, uh, what should we do? Should we go and old scars? Speak to Calderos outside the steps of torment. Oh yeah, forgot about Calderos. He was definitely in to. Twin Falls, wasn't it? <clears throat> hmm. Actually, he was on the map, wasn't he? The... His friend was on the map. Yeah, that's him there. Pretty sure. The oligarchs are no more. Splendid. My trust in you was not misplaced. Speak to Kelderos at the steps of torment in the broken hills. He will guide you. He will, he will guide you. Well, where's the broken hills? Oh, 
I've not got a teleport portal in the Broken Hills. So there's a bridge over to them, isn't there? And I've not got there yet. I wonder how we... Well, we're over in Twin Falls. Yeah, there seems to be a path to Broken Hills. Yeah, but it's kind of there though, isn't it? Is this not how we need to get over? Yeah, it would suggest that we need to go over that broken bridge. Forgetting how much bloody damage those things do. Motion level. Our power just got higher. Cronley's gang seem to regenerate then. overly sure what to do with uh, it's, yeah there's the bridge there that I'm thinking of I think right next to the bloody portal Twin Falls Rift that is yeah Could be that we've got something needs to be sorted out first, like in the main quest or something, before we can. Because this is broken, isn't it? Yes, it is. There is somebody at the other side of it, though. Savage living foils. Uh... With the bridge gone, the road to the smugglers' pass is washed out by storms. Is there no other way? Uh, fuck. Yeah. Ancient city of Arcovia. There is a passage there through the Arcovian undercity that leads to the Broken Hills. What? That's where I've just been. Right, we need to go back to the Undercity then. I've missed something, haven't I? Which is fine, but... Uh, in fact, I don't even think we'll have to fight in here. Because no nothing should have respawned. Well, in the Undercity itself, I mean. Uh, if I can find my way back to it. I don't, I don't even remember... We didn't see any kind of uh, portal, did we? For hang on a minute, oh, was that the portal I just put up a minute ago? Oh dear.
Right. Well, I'm pre- well. Yeah, that was a bit shit. That though, isn't it? Because the 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 one, the only other exit to this place that I recall just plopped me back out in the world, and I couldn't come back down here. Oh, hello. That's off map, isn't it? Let's just have a look at the map. So, we've just come in for the one at the top. There is a exit to the... Well, there's a couple. There's one to the right, and there's one top left. Whew. So, the question is, which bloody route did I take? Oh, hello. I don't remember... I'm not sure I remember that watery bit. Definitely been down this way, though. Right. Ah, who's this dude? Here we go. This is the one, people. This is the one. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Minova. <laughs> Please stay your weapon, mortal, I ask. Only that you that you hear out my plea. Uh, what is it you need? Many ages ago, my people made a grave mistake, and now when you pay for our hubris eternally bound to this land, but our children do not deserve the fate placed upon them by our curse. My daughter Lutra now stalks the broken hills as a, a hideous harpy. She suffers for my sins in the body of a monster. Bitter, twisted, and having never known a mother's love. Please, mortal, find my daughter, deliver a swift and merciful end to her eternal torment. Uh, if you do this for me, I will gladly give you my essence to strengthen yours. I will do this. Rightio. Uh, so we've got the A Merciful End quest. Well, I think I'll celebrate with a sip of me 7-Up, even. Ooh, you shall not pass! <laughs> Proper bridge for saying it, that. Broken hills and a portal, thank you very much. Take these broken hills and make them whole again. Uh, we should be alright for yeah, space and stuff. Okay. I think what we'll do is we'll make that the... Well, it'd be rude not to have to wander about. We've got a little bit of time, I think. Ah, we're only on 45 minutes, people. Loads of time. Pass. 
just using the shit out of my guns at the minute. Get these gun perks right up. <laughs> How many you shall not pass bridges are there in this section? Well, we've got a star up here, which could be the harpy. She's dead. Bless up. Encanter Spellblade of the Void. Return to Minova outside the Yakovian Undercity entrance. Well, to be fair, he's not far from the portal, is he? So. <laughs> Can't say it every time, surely. Barren Highlands. Well, that's a whole new bloody section, that is. Uh, still got stuff we haven't discovered over here yet. It does seem to be a shrine, though. Ocean Point people. Yeah. Polished. Is that a polished emerald for this? Yeah, it is. I've only got one. Unless I've got another stack somewhere. Slightly disappointing. I thought it was ether crystals that we shove in these things. I've got bloody 40 of the damn things. Devotion Point. Lovely. Devotion. Ooh, 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 ah. Right, we started this one, didn't we? So, the next one is 18% reduced freeze duration and 18% slow resistance. And then we get another physique and a movement speed on the next one. And then we get a perk. Physical resistant, cold resistance, lightning resistance. That's not bad. Take that. And party! Well, I think before we go any further that way, we'll uh, check out what's what in the Broken Hills. Get a fight on people, get to the next level up. Come full circle there, I think.
go. Still badass, these guns they really are. Sweet as. Sweet like chocolate, boy. Ooh, where is this place? Ooh, Bloodhound Greaves. Shit, how many of them are coming? Oh, there's a quest over that. Oh, it's the guy to speak to, innit? Thought it was going to be a boss fight there for a minute. <laughs> it's the guy I need to speak to. Ancient spirit totem. That shit crazy that did. Leg plates, is it? Well, we can put them on just now. They've got 233 armor as opposed to our 155. How am I wearing green leg plates? What happened there? I... Epic Pants, I think you'll find they're called. Well, it'd be silly not to put them on. It is, there's a couple of moves on it that are just not for me at the moment. Acid damage, vitality damage, vitality decay, vitality resistance, acid retaliation, plus 17% to all retaliation damage. I mean, for the armour alone, it's probably worth it at this point. Uh, however, we've got Ring of Steel on these pants, which is uh, hundreds of phantasmal blades to encircle me and help me kick ass. Ancient armor plate on the top of them, which is giving us... Plus, yeah, physique and armor. Okay...
cracked lodestone. 22% main hand damage. 52 to 75. Oh, that's to do with the lightning over. I'm not actually carrying any rare components, so I don't, I don't think. So we'll hold on to that thought till we get back, I think. Well, that's a rare uh, crossbows, guns off, off hands. Oh, there's two polished emeralds there. Right, okay. We'll, uh, we'll hold off for now, people. I've got new boots as well. Yeah, I can't ignore this, can I? 166 bloody armour on those as well. So about a part of a set, those explorers' foot pads, though. 11% movement speed on the new ones. We'd only lose a percent. Um, health, cunning, bleeding damage, slow resistance. Plus two to laceration. He says yawning. Good grief. How rude. Right, okay. I'll have a think about those off camera. See what I'm going to do. Right, okay. Let's not go any further until... Yeah, it's going to open up again, I think. Speak to this chappy first. Who happens to be at a cave entrance, I think. So we've got several places to go. <sighs> you have done uh, as we asked. I am pleased to see this. The oligarchs are gone. Woohoo! Four and a half grand in XP. Oh, look how close we are to leveling up, people. Ooh, level 32 cometh. With their corrupted souls destroyed, this land will begin to heal in time. What I must ask you of you next is far more dire, a, a far more dire challenge. Oh, that's, that's good to know. What is next? The Grand Priest Zar... Z <laughs> it comes up with these names. Zarthuzelen. Zarthuzelen was the Arkovian upon whose word all Arkovian necromancers were banished to the steps of torment. Even in, the de even in death, he continues to gather the lost souls of Arkovia to his mad word. The time has come to scatter his flock and erase this stain upon the world for good. You must travel deep within the step of torment. On the third floor, you will find the priest at his desecrated altar. Purge him from this place and I shall join you below. Okie doke. So we're going after this bloody Grand Priest odd job. Jesus Christ. Zarth. Uzelen. A, and this is the Steps of Torment, is it? Good grief, people. I will do as you ask. God's sake. You don't have to ask a lot of me. I mean, but anyway. Well, I think, as we've hit the hour mark, it's probably an ideal place to wrap it up. I might actually, before I go any further in this uh, in recording... I might take a little trip back to... i tell you what, actually. Let's just see if there's any enemies up here that we can get uh, get our level up going. So we've got a level up to work with. We're right on the cusp of level 31. Christ almighty. Bridge after bridge. I feel like I've been here already though. Wow. 
What? <laughs> I think we're, we're now on the top side of... We, we actually did this area, but in the lower half of it. Yeah, there's the portal down there, look. Look how many of them there are. <laughs> Be lucky if I could find my way back to where we just were. Keep coming. Nearly leveled up. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, just a few more enemies. You know you wanna. God damn it. Come around in a full circle. I'm not sure we've got any more enemies to play with here. Well, there was a little bit, actually, that we hadn't done up by the teleport stone itself. That's the... Yeah, that's Kelderos, so that's where we need to go back to, so at least we can find that again. Yeah, there's a big bit up there we've not done as well. That was the other area, wasn't it? Come on. Nearly there. There she blows. Level up and ride your pony. And we're back at the portal. Back in the room. And there you go, folks. Wasn't a bad tour, that was it. So... discovered the broken hills we can come straight back to here and get straight back to that cave we want to go down stop me portal open actually so I think uh, yeah we'll wrap it up there for that part and in the next part I will have had a look at these devotions and I'll see what I might do I'll make my decisions and then we'll start the next episode with me respecking and putting the points in so I can show you what I'm doing and what devotion I've picked. That's what I'll attempt to do anyway. Um, it is quite tricky to... You can sometimes end up spending your points by mistake. <laughs> so I need to... In order to browse the devotion... Uh, not devotions. The class... To browse the classes, you need to actually start spending the points sort of thing. You need to remember to undo it and not hit B to come out, otherwise it sets it in stone. But I will attempt to do it right so that I can show you what, I'm, uh, what I've decided to do. And we'll actually do it together at the beginning of the next part. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Grim Dawn on the Xbox Series X. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.